The TAL service is provided to help you remember all your passwords. The passwords will be securely stored in a USB token, which you can carry around with you. You only need to remember a single passcode to access the USB token, and you will not have to remember all the passwords. If your agency has also signed up to use this service for the VPN, the TAL service can also provide additional security when logging onto your VPN. The USB token is able to generate a different password every time you log on to the VPN. Again, you only need to remember a passcode in order to access the USB token. The USB token may also have an optional memory storage component where you are able to store your files to be transferred between computers. You will be issued a USB token and the access agent will be installed on your computer before you can begin using the TAL service. You should be able to see an icon of a USB token in the lower right hand corner of your computer screen. After you have been registered with the TAL server and your computer has access agent properly installed, you are ready to use the TAL service. On powering up your computer, you will see the Accentuate login screen. Insert your USB token into the USB port. You will be prompted to enter the passcode shortly. Type in your passcode. Always remember to keep the passcode secure. Do not share it with anyone else, nor write it down anywhere. Thereafter, the Windows desktop will be loaded. Notice that in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, an icon resembling the USB token may be flashing. Wait for the icon to stop flashing, which will indicate that the access agent software is ready. When you log on to an application, for example Lotus Notes, you'll be prompted to type in your username and password as usual. After entering the username and password, you'll be asked whether you want to store the username and password to the token. If you select yes, the username and password will be stored into the token. If you select no, the username and password will not be stored, but you will be prompted again the next time you log on to the same application. If you select never, you will never be prompted to store the username and password for this application. Here, I will select yes. Subsequently, when you launch Lotus Notes again, the stored password will be automatically entered for you. Likewise, all application passwords will be stored and entered for you automatically. Therefore, all you need to remember is the passcode for the USB token. You can manage the behavior of access agent by double-clicking on the USB token icon. If you select Always in the password entry column, the username and password will be entered but not submitted. If you select Ask, you'll be asked before the username and password are entered. If you select Automatic Logon, the username and password will be entered and submitted. Here, I will select Automatic Logon. Launching Lotus Notes again, the username and password are entered and the OK button is clicked automatically. When the USB token is in use and you unplug the USB token, the computer screen will be locked. You will need to plug in the same USB token and enter the passcode before you can unlock the computer. If a password protected screensaver is used, you'll be prompted for the passcode of the USB token when unlocking the screensaver. The USB token can also generate a random one-time password, which can be verified to give you VPN access. When the VPN client is launched, the one-time password will automatically be generated and entered into the password field for you. Here I am using Notel Contivity, but other clients are also supported. If you forget to bring your token, you can use the temporary access mode to continue accessing your applications you will need to contact Help Desk to get an authorization code. With your authorization code and passcode, you'll be able to download your usernames and passwords from the TAL server to a software key. Please check with Help Desk how long your software key will be valid for, since the software key is valid for only 30 days or less. If you lose your token, you will need to contact Help Desk to be advised on how to get a new token. Help Desk will revoke your lost token to render it useless. You will also be issued with an authorization code by Help Desk. With both your authorization code and passcode, you will be able to download your usernames and passwords from the TAL server into a new token. If your token is stolen, nobody will be able to access your token without your passcode. Remember to keep your passcode secure. Do not share it with anyone, 
or write it down. If you forget your passcode, you will not be able to use your token anymore. You will need to contact Help Desk to be advised on how to get a new token. You will also be issued with an authorization code by Help Desk. With both your authorization code and recovery code, you will be able to download your usernames and passwords from the TAL server into a new token. The recovery code is the answer based on a question which you answered when you registered the first time with TAL. If you are unable to get a replacement token immediately, you can get an authorization code from Help Desk, which can be used along with your recovery code to download your usernames and passwords into a temporary software key. If you forget your passcode and recovery code, you will need to contact Help Desk to reset your account. You will have to send in your token to Help Desk to be reset. You will then have to re-register your account and need to capture your usernames and passwords all over again. This should get you on your way to using the TAL service. You will be able to enjoy the convenience of not having to remember multiple passwords while still being assured of securely logging on to your VPN using one-time passwords. The TAL service, based on technology developed by Incentuate and managed by IBM Global Services, contains many more features than can be fully described here. To find out more, please contact Help Desk or visit the TAL service website.